Nowadays, people are getting into arguments for many different reasons. There's a lot of conflict and a lack of peace in the world. And a long list of reasons why someone might want to get into an argument with you or why you might want to fight back. As Christians, we are called to respond differently to these situations. Let's talk about that. In 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 9, it says, Don't repay evil for evil. Don't retaliate with insults when people insult you. Instead, pay them back with a blessing. That is what God has called you to do, and he will grant you his blessing. Has someone ever said something or done something to you that was so full of hate, so full of ignorance, that insulted you, someone you love, that insulted your beliefs? I have a question for you. Did you ever think, oh, I'm going to say something, I'm going to do something that's going to make them regret what they just said or did. I'm going to make them feel exactly what I felt. I have another question for you. Has that ever worked? In my experience, and biblically, no, that has never worked. It may work temporarily. It may leave them a little bit shocked. But in the long term, it's never going to change their hearts. In fact, they may never listen to you again when you try to talk to them about Jesus, about the gospel. And that's a door we never want to close. In Romans chapter 12, verse 19, it says, Dear friends, never take revenge. Leave that to the righteous anger of God. For the scriptures say, I will take revenge. I will pay them back, says the Lord. We are not called to give people what they deserve because we weren't given what we deserved. Jesus died on the cross for our sins, for our transgressions against a holy God. We deserved death, but instead, Lord gave us a chance at life. He gave us a chance at eternal life in heaven This is not what we deserved. This is a radical love. And that should inspire us to give out radical love to our enemies, to the people who hate us, to the people who say and do things that are so horrible. Because I promise you, this gift of salvation, this radical love is extended to everyone, to our enemies, to our friends, to our coworkers. There is no one to which the gospel is not available. I just want to encourage you with that and leave you with this. Let's repay evil with blessing and let God work in the hearts of our enemies.